fight. Bro's gonna help stay now. Bro's gonna help stay. Left foot, right foot, right foot. Offensive foul. Hoop, hoop, hoop. 20, 20. The premise of officiating at any level is to get the plays right. Hey, Steve, you didn't travel, you were out of bounds. If you're gonna do this, if you're gonna ref, you have to know the rules. Anybody want to go over anything at all? You just can't go and pass your state test and then put the rule book down and say, I'm done with that. You have to constantly stay on the rules. Lead, no problem. Trail, we have to have a little more active what we talked about with the walks and things like that. The preparation before a game is very important. Talking to my partners, getting on the same page of what we're trying to accomplish that night, our mechanics, what we're doing here and there. Now, on a junior level with a, with a younger group of, of, of referees, I know you can't do that because most of you have a job or things like that, but when you get to the locker room or you get to the gym, call your partners out. Sit and talk to them what you're trying to accomplish in that game that night or that afternoon. You just don't walk onto the court, put your whistle on, go out and start calling plays. There's preparation to it. Beautiful! Officiating is just like anything else. You constantly are trying to look to improve. When you start refereeing at a junior level, it's a building block type of thing. My first weekend of refereeing, when I was a young kid, 18, 19 years old, I worked 13 games in a weekend. And it is imperative imperative to work fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grades and work a million of those games because handling those situations, it's fabulous. Well, I thought, I thought like he turned to him, Stan. It's a great building block if you want to proceed uh, to work high school, to, to work college, to try to get to the NBA. But you have to have that foundation of working kids basketball.